Hello there, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and I do hope you're doing well in this time. I thank you so much for liking the video, for sharing the messages with those you love and for being a subscriber here. All of your support is abundantly appreciated. Please do continue to show your support and to be a part of this journey. I love being here with you. Uh, so these are going to be general tarot card messages for you. Well, they're not tarot cards. I'm using plain cards. I developed a, um, I developed a spirit on my own the other day using these plain cards. And I feel like they work. So uh, these are going to be general messages. Are these are just going to be, this is a messages. This is a message of inspiration that I felt. The wealth code. The wealth code is accessible to everyone. It is the 10 of pentacles energy. It is open. All I did was ask for the wealth code and access was granted immediately. So when I got into this space, I, there was a place of doubt that I had to go through. So that was the obstacle. I had to go through doubt and disbelief and all of them things. Um, but I ended up finding, it's almost like I came to a factory. <laughs> I traveled through some portals. Excuse me. But I feel like I came to a factory. It's so windy, it's beautiful. I came to a factory feeling like when you end up at Santa Claus's, the North Pole, with a lot of elves working, honestly. That's how I felt like the wealth code behind the scenes a lot of elves working to grant your wishes and then there was god here honestly god was here i'm saying was because this okay so god was here in this place and the elves were working this place felt like just mechanical the elves felt like they were a part of the machine even though they weren't because they had to be working like there's a lot of work going on they were working for God. Um, I had to... Oh, oh, oh. The wealth code has to do with scripting or writing or the five of wands energy. It's your dreams and your visions, your emotions, your feelings, what you, your feelings that you create. Creating in the fifth dimension. It, it's in your feelings at first. You create it energetically or vibrationally. This vibration feeling, we're talking about the wealth code. This vibrational feeling is then, I don't remember what card was there. But then something happens and then the elves get that feeling. Because I feel like you're being watched on a big screen by God or by the elves. Literally like, I can see through your eyes as you are writing. Or as I can feel your emotions. As if God has a big telescreen watching all of your feelings and emotions and all he wants to do is to make you happy. God was masculine, king of cups, king of hearts. And he was so pleased, so happy. But the thing is, God felt he was alone. He felt like he had to just serve us to make us happy. And he's happy to do it. That's the wealth code. All you have to do is ask vibrationally and then the elves get to working to make it manifest because the outcome of that reading was the ace of pentacles i felt like something amazing was going to happen like there's an abundance here and the ace of pentacles came out as the outcome of this finding the wealth code for me that felt like you are a child of the most high like you have a soul like he gave you a soul he gave you a soul let this message just apply to you like, like your gift like he took a part of the wealth code and put it inside of you your gift so that's why you can access this access it at any time it also feels like your knowledge your intelligence your 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 yeah your intelligence it feels like even the access you have to communicate with this heavenly being but i was in this factory walking around and God was here. But I wanted to speak to him. He didn't even acknowledge me when I was in there. He did not. And so I was wondering if he could feel. And I felt like I was getting a bit upset. 
like you saw me come in here because i feel like not a lot of people like me enter into this space it's mostly just the dwarves and god but here i am walking through and he was no one was bothered by me my presence really i feel like they could sense that i was there but they were busy the elves were busy working and god was busy looking off into space daydreaming and smiling I feel like our happiness, or our pleasures, or expansion, or creative energies make God happy. It's almost like that's what He lives for. Anywho, so I started to question. I was like, "Don't you see me here?" I knew He was God in some way, shape, or form, but I had no fear. And then He slowly looked at me, and I was like, "Oh, you can move." He felt like this machine, as if He was becoming a machine you know what i mean as if god was becoming a, a machine that was just meant and maybe he didn't even see that it we i would feel like he's being taken advantage of it's almost like god is such a has such a beautiful pure heart that he'll just give and give and give and give and give but i looked at him and i was seeing a man alone smiling in space so I wanted to know more. Then he looked at me. And he looked over to my side where, where I was as the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe he felt my soul or something that something like that. Or he felt my question or my vision. Then he looked toward me. And I feel like he spoke to me. He was ex telling me what I wanted to hear, like, because I had these questions. But I can't really say he was opening his mouth to speak. But he was looking at me though. And I just wanted to know some things. <laughs> I was afraid because knowing who I am. I'm a changer of perspectives I feel. And sometimes I am afraid of asking people too many questions. Because they're going to start thinking differently. And maybe they're going to make a change. And maybe the change that they're going to make. They shouldn't have made it, but it was because of my influence why they changed. So in my head now, I was thinking, God, you look alone. Why are you here alone? Don't you want to do something else? Don't you want to, don't you want to socialize with people? But at the same time, I was thinking, suppose I, suppose I remove God from where he is to change his mind and, and maybe start living more, socializing, going out and actually being a part of life instead of being this idol in the sky. And he said something like, like he was okay with being where he was. But then you know what? He appreciates me. And now he starts to give me attention. Like, why are you here anyway? He wanted to know. And I feel like many, some, he's seen people like me before come into this space. But maybe they haven't, they haven't wanted to ask the questions that I did. You know what I mean? About him and his heart and about his space and place among us. And to tell you the truth, because I'm so in, in, empathic, I ended up finding out that God's, God has a, had a gift or something like that. And he was beaten as a child by his mother a lot. And it made him scared. You know what energy I'm getting? Edward Scissorhand. Yeah, such a beautiful, loving heart. But then he hides himself away somewhere. Because maybe he's afraid he will hurt someone. But then he really does nothing. He just stands there and fulfills people's dreams. I feel so God is the wealth code. Like, that's what I'm finding out. But then the wealth code, I, want, I wanted. Because I wanted him... To come down here. And I wanted to feel his hand. You know what I mean? I just wanted him to take a break. And to come here. And to. To know that we are real. Because I don't feel that. Maybe he felt I wasn't as real. I feel like maybe he. At, at a point she thought I was like a figment. Of his imagination. Or another of his creations. But that's when he started to think like. Oh maybe. My, and I, and none of my creations so far have asked me this particular question. So that's why I feel like I represented as the Ace of Pentacles. 
like a new vision for God. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So I also wanted him to, wanted to let God know that because honestly, I feel like God maybe have lost his mind in a, in a sense, like Edward Scissorhand vibration where he hid himself from the world because of abuse. I'm not sure if that's what happened to Edward Scissorhand, played by Johnny Depp. I'm not sure if it was abuse. But then I wanted to go to him and to tell I felt like I was like a, an angel or, or not an angel. I was something else, like a, a fairy, one of those fairies of earth or something. And I felt him come to me like so. And I was reassuring him, you know, like um, he's not alone in the world, in the universe. He's a big player, like he's created his, his own universe here to play with. But at the same time, I wanted him to know that there are other people out here that can love him and he can come and socialize again. He doesn't have to make one incident. Well, I don't want to like say that like that. But I just wanted him to understand that not because of what happened in his childhood. He should really be over here in this world. I know it's making him happy and pleased because he's fulfilling his vision and his dreams of making people happy. Maybe because he didn't feel like he was made happy as a child, so on and so forth. I'm talking about God. But God, I wanted him to know that there were other realms or people here of different different places. Oh my goodness. And all it's almost like a lot of us, us, a lot of them are we, we 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 notice that God has been over here in his world a long time now. It's almost like it's just time for us to come together and go to him, some divine intervention to say we're here for you. And when you came down, honestly, I felt we, we came out on a beach. And it was nice because it's almost like he hasn't done this in a long time to be on the beach. And he was pleased. I feel like that's where it ended. He was pleased in that moment to have descended and to come here to be on the beach, to be involved in life, it seems. And to be around people, like real, real, real people. <sighs> Amen. Sila. Alright, so that is what I have for you. I hope you found some messages that inspire you and is able to help you along your journey. If you did on your way out, hit the like button, share the video, comment, subscribe. Love you so much. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure serving you and having you a part of this journey with me. I hope that you continue to grow here all right so remember that all is within you you're all you can be to have everything and anything in this world that you desire so dream big like you are the code the ace of pentacles you are you have the soul of god and all he wants to do is to make you happy to fulfill your dreams that's his only wish <laughs> That's his only wish, the King of Cups. I much love to you. Take care, bye. But don't abuse him. Oh, no, he... Because, you know, we don't want to keep him up there in a pedestal when he wants... You know, I feel like... Like I said, invite him in life to... To let him know that he's not alone. You know, he doesn't have to feel separate from the world. Or from life. Or from being loved as well. So we should love him and include him.